What's happening guys, Mike here from Ammo Fitness. Today we are talking about pre-workout. I get this question asked a lot, which is why I'm gonna cover it today, and the question usually goes like, should I take pre-workout, or what else can I take to improve my workout? Now, obviously as the name states, pre-workout, it's obviously taken prior to your workout. Now, why? Uh, because it's a central nervous system stimulant. All right, so the most common pre-workout is a central nervous system stimulant, but there is non-stimulating uh, pre-workouts. The main ingredients in those really focus on helping you regulate the burning feel, so your lactic acid, helping you increase the size of your veins, not only just for pump, I know it's great because they actually do that, it's actually proven to work. It actually uh, vasodilates your veins. Now what that means is it's going to take your vein and it's actually going to expand it up. Now what this means is you've got more blood flow. More blood flow, uh, flow means more energy and more recovery and a better regulation of lactic acid when you're getting that burn as well, all right? So the recruited muscles are going to be able to work more efficiently, uh, essentially. All right, so now, the reason why I thought I'd quickly cover this is because I'm about to have my uh, workout and I always go with a few different pre-workouts because sometimes the, uh, the norm or the, uh, the ingredients in one pre-workout your body's gonna get used to, okay? I took this one yesterday, so I'm probably gonna go with this one today. Uh, I could take this one, but again, both of these have different properties, different ingredients, and they do slightly different things. The main ingredients that you will find in pre-workout is, so it's caffeine, which is your main central nervous system stimulant. Yes, you can get this from, let's say, espresso, latte, coffee, whatever it may be, but there are some other ingredients in there, like I just mentioned, so beta alanine, which is gonna regulate your lactic acid, so help with that burn. Now, beta alanine is also responsible for, I don't know if you've ever had pre-workout before, uh, before, but if you have, it's like that itchy feeling, it feels like something's underneath your skin, you really gotta move it out of the way. All right, what's actually happening here is that um, the enzymes are actually trying to come to the surface of your skin because they've got nothing to regulate. All right, usually uh, the feeling goes down as soon as you work out. I don't know if you've actually realized, but it dilutes as soon as you start working out because you're building up the lactic acid for the beta alanine to actually remove from the system. So essentially, the beta alanine latches onto the lactic acid and allows it uh, to flow out your veins. Now, the next uh, ingredient is either L-arginine or agmatine. Now this is going to pretty much increase the blood flow of your veins. Like I said before, it's gonna vasodilate your veins. Um, it's actually a really good thing, especially uh, because caffeine is so contradictory. Uh, caffeine actually vasoconstricts your veins. So your veins actually get smaller because of the stimulant, which isn't good, but it's a good thing that they put uh, agmatine or L-arginine in the pre-workouts so you actually get the opposite effects and you get more nutrient delivery through your veins and arteries. Now, a few other green, uh, ingredients that you may find in pre-workouts is something like your B and C vitamins. All right, C vitamin, good for hydration and everything uh, and your immune system while you're thrashing your body uh, with caffeine, a central nervous system stimulant. So again, too much is a bad thing as well, all right? So you can completely fry your adrenal glands if you have too much caffeine in the day. The recommended dose is about 200 milligrams per day. Uh, to give you an idea, an average coffee is about 80 milligram. Now to give you an idea on this pre-workout, uh, obviously you can see Rich Piano in here and he's a bit of a psycho, so he's decided to put about 400 milligram of caffeine in one scoop. Surprisingly enough, it tastes freaking awesome and it gets you going. So this is why I don't have this one every single day of the week because I'd get to the end of the week and I probably wouldn't wake up. Um, plus it's got actually synephrine, which is a, it's in the family of speed or methamphetamines. Um, it's not actually a methamphetamine, but it comes relatively close. It's only got about 30 milligram in here, but this makes this pre-workout a hell of a roller coaster. All right, so like I say to a lot of my clients and stuff, when they're trying to look for a pre-workout that actually gets your mind boggling, this is definitely one, but you gotta think of the downside. What goes up must come down, okay? So really use it on the big days, the days you really wanna thrash yourself, all right? So I don't recommend thrashing yourself every single day because again, your adrenal glands, your thyroid, everything's taken to thrashing, your central nervous system, and too much of that is a bad thing, okay? And your body gets used to it as well, to the point where you could be thrashing yourself every day and you're not even making any results or gains, anything. All right, so this is why I like to tone it down a little bit with C4. I found C4 actually tastes great. It's got the perfect amount of ingredients, 
B vitamins, um, which actually help you uh, digest your food and actually use it for energy. That, that's what B vitamins are usually good for, especially B12. Uh, but the other ones are good for just general aid in your workout as well. Uh, it's also got vitamin C, like we mentioned before. Your caffeine's only at 160 milligram, so it's kind of like a double espresso. Uh, arginine, so that's in there as well. Creatine. Creatine isn't 100% necessary, but it's good for those explosive movements. Uh, it actually helps with one of your three main energy systems in your body. Uh, it's actually a small molecule that latches on to, I won't go into too much of the science side of things, but it essentially helps the first most explosive energy group uh, to get you maybe a few more seconds in uh, and let's say the first few reps. All right, So that's crucial when we're actually uh, trying to get PBs and it means one rep. Okay, so creatine again has to load up in your system, but we'll save that for another day. And beta alanine, so to regulate that lactic acid. C4 used to have a crap load of beta alanine, so if you weren't working out, well, you should have been ready to scratch your freaking eyelids to pieces or wherever it gets you. It gets me in the most bizarre places, like especially the top of my lip um, and maybe my eyebrows for some reason, and sometimes my back to the point where I, like, I feel like I'm seizing up. But to avoid this, just make sure that you actually take your pre-workout nice and close uh, to the start of your workout. Don't take it an hour before because, yeah, then you will feel that. Uh, and taking it nice and close anyway, um, sometimes I like to actually get into my workout naturally. Then when it kicks in, then you're really ready to uh, stick to your guns and go hell for leather. Alright, so today I'll probably be, be going with C4. So, should you take pre-workout? Is it necessary? No. Is it going to help with your workout? Yes, I think it does. Uh, definitely if you're having a bad day or an off day, uh, the central uh, nervous system pickup can help you out a little bit uh, because essentially it becomes down to this bad boy in here. Uh, so if you're thinking more clearly, you can focus more on actually connecting your mind to your muscle. You'll be able to get those contractions a lot better, focus on what you're actually doing inside your set uh, because if, if you're off with the fairies, uh, then you definitely won't get a good workout. And I just love that about pre-workout. But again, like I said, what goes up must come down. All right, so if you've taken a wicked pre-workout, uh, just expect the consequences. That's all I'm saying, all right? So the way I like to look at it is you're essentially borrowing energy from later on in the day, okay? So your energy is like this all day. If you decide to have your pre-workout over here, it's gonna be like that for the rest of the day. All right, so I hope that makes sense, guys. Uh, totally up to you if you want to use pre-workout. Uh, I'd definitely recommend it because it definitely helps me with my pre-workouts. Uh, but what I can recommend is really trying to go on and off. Try not using it and then back to using it again. Uh, just like everything, all right, so there's a time and a place. Hope this video helps, guys. Let me know how you go. Make sure to jump across to our Facebook page to like that, and even our YouTube channel. Give that a subscribe uh, to keep up to date on all our weekly advice and tips to help you on your weight loss and fitness journey. Till next time, guys. Love you heaps. I'll see you in the next video.